I think I spent over a thousand dollars on craft supplies, which is my favorite kind of money to spend if we're being honest. Are you <laughs> kidding me? She's growing up. We're 30 now. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. I went shopping. Whoopsies. It's a kind of shopping that is giveaway shopping. So as literally when I was like digging through this giant box of Squishmallows at my grocery store yesterday, I was like, I just feel like the effort here means that I should get one for myself as well too. There's a really cute purple cow that was holding a candy corn and like, I love me a festive Squishmallow. Anyways, I left the grocery store with two Squishmallows for the giveaway and zero Squishmallows for me, which is not an equation that I enjoy if we're being fully transparent. Nothing from the peanut gallery? That you are. Anyways, um, in celebration of launching the first three episodes of Amateur Artist, which I have an official launch date, September 24th is when episode one is going to go live. I'm so- no. <laughs> Do you wanna just come in here and be part of the vlog? Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. September 24th is when the first episode, we're starting with glass blowing. I'm- no. <laughs> Do you want to be in the vlog or not? Well, I decided like yesterday, September twenty fourth. September twenty fourth, episode one. I think we're starting with glass blowing, and um, so in celebration of the new series and being so excited about it and it going so swimmingly so far. Um, I wanted to do a giveaway. Um, so today I'm filming a video that's gonna go up onto the main channel the week before. So I think, what would that be? The 18th, 24 minus seven, the 17th. The 17th, it's gonna go off on the 17th. But I've been meaning to do a video that's like 30 things that I've learned by time I've turned 30. So um, I have to put the giveaway basket together now before I film that video because I wanna talk about the giveaway in that video to promote it for the giveaway that's happening in episode one of Amateur Artist. Working backwards here, my brain is a mess. Um, but I finished all of my shopping as of this morning actually because I got an Apple delivery um, And so I thought that we could pack the giveaway basket together because I think that it's not going to go well um, I went to Target yesterday and got this and Looking at the size of how much space the Squishmallow is already taking up I'm a little concerned, but I wanted to show you everything that's involved in the giveaway. Um, so I will leave the giveaway rules since it's not uh, really pertaining to this video in the description so you can get a sneak peek on what the giveaway will entail. It is very simple. It's like subscribe to the main channel, the vlog channel, leave a comment on episode one on Amateur Artist uh, on the 24th. Very simple, but I'll have that in the description box, but I wanted to show you everything I got since I think in the main channel video, the 30 things I learned by 30, it'll be a little more just like general, like you'll see it. And hopefully by the end of this vlog, it will look nice and organized and appealing. I actually asked you guys what you are interested or like need in terms of like if there are, outside of me just like fully paying your bills because obviously we all have bills. Um, I was like, what do you want? In terms of like whether it be something creative wise that you just like haven't had uh, the budget for or like what do you need to grow your small business or whatever it might be. So anyways, I had some great suggestions. So thank you so much to everyone who submitted um, different suggestions on things that would make them happy in their life creatively. It was everything from like tech things um, to Apple, uh, pencils, pen, pen, yeah, Apple pencils, and um, yarn, crocheting, paint, glitter. Uh, the one thing that I wanted to mention is that a ton of people asked for resin, and I don't know if I 
There's something that feels illegal about me shipping resin, like giant jugs of resin because it's so chemically to other countries just in case it's international winter and also very heavy. So I didn't get any resin, but that was the one thing that I wanted to mention. Um, so excited for the enthusiasm around resin, but I- Thank you so much for the fact check. So let's do a haul of everything that's involved in the giveaway um, since I think in the uh, 30 reasons or 30 things, 30 things I've learned by 30 video, it'll be a much shorter overview. Okay, first thing, we've got an iPad and an Apple Pencil. I feel like so many people are making incredible things and generating designs for their small businesses um, and doing schoolwork on iPads and Apple Pencils. And I personally, like Procreate is such an incredible program um, that I thought this was kind of like the staple of tech things that I wanted to include. So I've got this and then also the USB-C to pencil um, adapter that you need to just like charge it very simple um, but anyways here's the little the little bundle and then um, the rest of it is more just like fun thing I think I spent over a thousand dollars on craft supplies which is my favorite kind of money to spend if we're being honest the first thing is just a set of paints so these are some basic acrylics but you've got a ton of different colors I don't know if you can see them on the sides of the caps here but a ton of your essential colors on acrylic paints We've got some Squishmallows. I just felt like I couldn't do a giveaway without having a Squish in here. Just like some of my favorite things. Um, so small and cute. Uh, this Squish, I actually um, wanted to use this potentially to fill some space to help stack things in the basket. Um, so we've got this squish as well too, a little octopus. I literally looked like the biggest idiot in the entire world. This one was on a display sitting on top of the freezer section. And so I looked like an idiot jumping up and down trying to reach it. So anyways, really put my heart and soul into getting this one specifically. This is a glitter set just in a bunch of multicolor glitters. I was thinking Stanley Cup, but I know that there's so many good dupes. Anyways, this is what I, I literally have been using this exact cup. So I just got a second one because I personally love it, but it is very cute and just one of like the insulated cups to keep things either really cold or really hot. So got that. And then I've got a huge box of stuff down here to the point that I couldn't get it up onto the desk. So I'm gonna just go like meep, 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 meep. Big chunky yarns. A lot of people were interested in like arm crocheting or big crocheting for blankets. So I got it in um, this really pretty, this looks like a giant periwinkle brain. The way that this was packed. I'm a little concerned. I don't love that, but it is very soft and this is my favorite color currently is the periwinkle um i also got this little periwinkle bag i have this it zips up and it's like a, such an essential just like when i'm tossing a vlog camera a snack and a big water bottle into a bag to go to a shoot or something this is like the bag that i have been using to bring everywhere so I got one for you as well in Periwinkle. I have this light sitting on a shelf over there that I got at um, the Rose Bowl flea market in Pasadena and I found it available on Amazon. And so this is, you just like pull a little tab and this little pearl lights up and it's a ceramic pink little clamshell, so cute. Um, a lot of you are in college or have your first apartments and homes and that was another one of like the top requested things. It's just like cute room decor. A Woobles crochet kit. These are so fun. Mia got me into Woobles and so I've only done one, but they are so fun and doable and the instructions are incredible. So got this little Woobles, got a ton of these incredible brush markers here. A ton of colors. I'm I'm jealous. I think I need, might need to order myself one of these. Literally I opened this up and I was like, oh, I want one of these. Here are two stationary kits in two different aesthetics. Uh, this one is like a lavendery one and this one is more of like a salmon orange color. Very cute. A lot of requests for like beaded bracelet stuff. So I picked up these two being my favorite. I thought this was a good mix. So these are these little, the little flat um, clay circles 
if you can see them here. And then these have some um, pretty like pearl shells and white and gold letters. It also has some clasps and different starters for like earrings and jump rings and like loops and stuff. So I thought that this was a good set to include here. These are the really cute highlighters that I feel like all the aesthetic stationary girlies have been using. Um, and these colors, again, kind of jealous. Should have gotten two. In here, I want to keep it in the package, I think, when I put it in the mail. But this is a cutting mat and a rotary cutter. Two, I feel like, of my DIY staples that I consistently use every single week. So this is just like a pink cutting mat with a matching rotary cutter. So key, so necessary. Um, and I feel like it's probably safer if I just keep this in the package. Oh, this is so cute. This is... Um, these are uh, these little angel numbers. I don't want to open them though, so that I like just in case I like accidentally get a bunch of dog fur in here. But I'll pop a uh, picture on the screen so you can see. I think there's nine. I think it's got all nine, or maybe six. I can't remember. Anyways, these are just like ready to be popped into little frames or whatever. It's just some cute room decor with some angel numbers and different like aura gradients, which I thought were really cute. Oh, this is a full oil and acrylic paint brush set. You can see all of them back here again to go with the paints. This really is, I feel like, spanning across so many different like genres of art that I'm so excited. These are just like all of my favorite things, plus more. Crochet needle uh, set as well too. That's got a bunch of different sizes. And crochet needles. So like after you learn how to crochet with your Woobles kit, you've got your yarn already and you've got all your crochet hooks. There's a few sticker packs and a few different aesthetics. This one is kind of like more earthy tones and then these notebooks are all very cute i like didn't want to get an agenda just because i don't know like i feel like sometimes you get it in a weird point of the year okay so we've got this one this one this one and this one all very cute four for four this is a this is oh my god this is i i was like what the fuck is this it's it's a uh, backpacked fuck should i leave it backpacked for the sake of the shipping i probably should okay i'm gonna pop a picture on screen of this one as well too this is my favorite dupe blanket of the barefoot drinks blanket which are typically over a hundred dollars and i think this one is maybe like closer to 60 or 70 or so um, favorite dupe. So soft, so incredible. The pups love them and I love them. This is one of the sunset lamps. I have one back over here. Um, these are my favorite. I feel like they're just like, they literally feel like they're making this on the wall, but with this. So one of these. Oh, 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 my two, two recent reads. Um, just finished this book. A little spicy so I'm gonna make sure the person that wins is over 18 and then love theoretically also really enjoyed this book so I just have like my two recent reads that I really enjoyed and um what else what, what is this this is oh oh my god I totally forgot I got this I can definitely open this up scissors 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 another one of the most like commonly requested um items was just overall scrapbooking supplies so like stationary stickers those sets there's some other just like general starter papers down there as well too um but one of the things that i wanted to go with the theme of scrapbooking was one of the um fujifilm instax minis so this came as a set with this and you've got the little protective case you've also got the little glitter mini album for your photos and then um two sets of film so this also i totally forgot about this i was like what is this random box in here i think that's everything um and so now i'm gonna try and organize it in this then okay wish me luck i fucking give up i don't i don't know how to do this <laughs> this is so hard this is so hard i think that i need to use well like one i for sure can't get everything in here like i just know for a fact i can't get everything in here but like the Squishmallow at the bottom looks like he is dying. Actually dying under the weight of everything. 
and I don't know. I might I might just have to lose the basket and stack everything behind me um, so that people can actually see what's what's going on. I don't know. This was a good attempt and I was like, realistically, I need a basket for blankets in this office anyways. So the basket will go to a good use, but I don't know. Stay tuned to see if all the giveaway items in um, the main channel video make it into this basket because I don't know. I just don't know. I really don't. Okay, here's the solution. <laughs> it's as good as I can do. I think this actually looks kind of nice. You know, it's got like a nice little height flow going this way. You can see all the colors, the paints, and the markers, the book titles properly. It, the Squishmallow down here is still gasping for breath, for sure, and I don't feel good about that, but the rest of it, I feel okay about. Hello, welcome to Car Chats, and back to the vlog. It is 10.30 a.m., and I am en route to the Cheesecake Factory right now to go do a segment of Eat the Menu with Keith at the Cheesecake Factory. If you were wondering if this is my dream segment, you would be absolutely correct. Cheesecake is probably my number one in terms of desserts. If I had to pick only one dessert that I could eat forever, it would definitely be between ice cream and cheesecake. And I am going to be eating cheesecake for lunch. You also already know that I am coming strapped with lactate because this will have definite consequences on my body later this evening, which is not the most impeccable timing because I do have a double date tonight to play pickleball and so post cheesecake problems plus pickleball is not the most exciting thing on my agenda today that's for sure also I haven't brushed my curls and I'm waiting to like get to the shoot to brush them out so bear with me as I have my Goldilocks curls right now um, but there is this really cute new pickleball place that opened up in Santa Monica which is very much not close to my home and we are driving at rush hour which will also not be enjoyable but it's gonna be worth it because I'm so excited this place is so cute it's also indoor there are a ton of tennis slash pickleball courts across LA but this one being indoors it's actually cooled off a lot so it's not like we're not surviving in Satan's asshole anymore in LA but I am excited to be indoors it's very very cute they've got like this incredible painted pickleball mural across the front glass if you're not from LA Santa Monica has this promenade area where there are a ton of just like stores and it's a really cute walking street but it's randomly gotten kind of like ghost towny and so I think there's new companies coming in to like reinvigorate the space and I am so excited. Jeremy and I, um, neither of us play tennis ever growing up or pickleball obviously and we did about a year and a half of pickleball, of tennis lessons um, at the beginning of the pandemics. I feel like that was the, the PR campaign. They're like, go play tennis, go outside, go play tennis and they're like, that's actually not the worst idea because neither of us had played so we were starting at the same skill level and it ended up being so much fun pickleball in my personal opinion is an easier version of tennis you're hitting the ball less hard and the courts a little bit smaller and so I think personally that pickleball is a little bit easier because I think the ball also just moves a little slower so I'm a huge fan I am a little sore from a past workout so I think between the post cheesecake digestive problems and also sore arms. I'm probably not the most ideal partner for tonight, but that's okay. We're just going to have fun and going to check out the space. And um, I think it's a membership space. So we're gonna go, I'll, I'll get all the details. We'll be vlogging. Um, you can see how wildly mediocre and average my pickleball skills are. I did get an adorable new paddle, which I'm really excited about. Um, but that is the plan for this evening. Also, I think when this vlog goes up either tomorrow or today, depending on when you're watching this, the first episode of Amateur Artist will be up. Um, I have been working tirelessly going back and forth on edits for the intro animation and the intro sound design. Um, so I'm going to play it for you guys. Uh, go watch the video, obviously. I'm so excited about it. The first episode is glass blowing, but I want to play the intro because I'm so happy with how it turned out. It like is the same amount of like it like scratches your brain I think in a really good way but I also wanted it to be like happy and energetic and have like a driving force um, and be playful all at the same time but still give you that like scratch the inside of your brain with sounds so anyways here's the intro let me know what you think So 
so that is happening today slash tomorrow, depending when this vlog goes up. Um, and I am nervous, but also excited, but also nervous, but also excited, but maybe mostly at this current point in time, nervous. Yes. And then I also um, have a small fall haul later today. I decided that I hate everything in my closet. <laughs> I just have been having trouble putting together outfits, I guess, and I realized it's because I don't have enough good quality basics, I guess, and so I purged a ton of shit, so if you and I are the same size, go to Poshmark because there are definitely a lot of new pieces currently on Poshmark, um, and this will be probably a two-parter of a haul because I've got boots and sweaters and sweater dresses and tops and bottoms and so many different pieces just like coming in the mail over the next week or so but I have a handful of new items to show you um, for I guess part one of this fall haul. I think this is a really good direction for me. It's just like a little more as I like wear a vegetable farmer's market t-shirt from Urban Outfitters in green which I do think is very cute and is new that I just bought. <laughs> And I'm excited about but I do think that I was just missing some key elevated basics in like black white cream some like darker green olive tones and some burgundies or something so anyways I'm putting together I'm definitely not someone who will ever be able to achieve the capsule closet listen that's just not me I am I'm I lean in the direction of maximalism across everything in my life and so like that's not a realistic goal that I think that I ever even want for myself but I do really feel the need to elevate my closet right now so that's happening and I will have a fall haul for you later today and a check-in after the Cheesecake Factory. I'm so excited. I think I'm eating eight cheesecakes, but oh, okay, okay, rogue lane change. Are you gonna do it? This is the problem with the Tesla. It like goes to start changing lanes, but then doesn't fully commit when it's like safe to commit. Or maybe it's just doing it slowly. Anyways, I don't know. Eight cheesecakes. We don't have to eat the whole thing. It's just like a cheesecake tester. You probably could eat the whole thing if you wanted. Oh my God, someone's honking, someone's honking. Literally honking gives me so, like I could cry. I could literally cry. No one was honking at me, but I felt the tears welling up in my eyes as I thought there might be the possibility that someone's honking at me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to my cheesecake testing. Goodbye. <laughs> So I don't feel great. <laughs> Was it the best video ever? Obviously, yes. I only tried seven, maybe eight flavors. <sighs> Keith is doing 36, 36 flavors. And I am saying a prayer for him because the way that my body feels right now, I would give it about a four out of 10. I just fell into an hour long cheesecake coma on the couch and I'm currently caffeinating. I love this flavor so much. Um, it, it tastes like those uh, caramel covered candy apple suckers. Trying to hype myself up for pickleball, which is coming in a couple hours. <laughs> I don't feel great. We're gonna get through it though, because again, this is so cute and the owners invited us. And so I am beyond honored. They're like, hey, we would love to show you around and like come meet and play. And it's like, hello, you are the owners of a pickleball court and I am wildly mediocre. I don't know if I wanna be agreeing to this, but they said that they are also beginners. Um, and I think they're just entrepreneurs and have an amazing aesthetic around their pickleball courts. Hopefully I don't get my ass absolutely handed to me in pickleball because also the odds are just not in my favor right now. I really don't feel good. Don't feel great. Do not feel great. Um, okay, so let's get into some of the haul pieces. I'm so excited. Also, a pair of boots and a pair of shoes did show up while I was gone at the shoot, so this is perfect timing. I have three pairs of jeans that I ordered from Good American that I wanted to um, include in this, but we'll do this in a part two again. Um, but I've got three pairs of jeans because I feel like I really need to find a, I actually have, also I've got diaper ass right now in these sweatpants. 
but I have a few pairs. All of my favorite jeans are from Good American. And these ones are just like, uh, I think these are one of the, like the, the I forget which uh, style they are. But they're like the loose boyfriend, very distressed, and I love them so much. Like the detailing on these are just absolutely incredible. My favorite jeans, hands down, out of all the brands I've ever tried. But I, I don't have a good pair of like basic straight leg jeans is where I really feel like I'm missing. I have like a, a hole in my jean collection, which is not that plentiful. So I've ordered three pairs, probably in hopes of keeping just one or two. Um, so I wanted to specifically this first pair of shoes that I got from Revolve from the brand Tony Bianco. Um, I really wanted to wear these with straight leg jeans that are like the right length that hit kind of just below the ankle. This is what they look like. Very cute and classy. I need to see what these are going to look like with the right pair of jeans. They know with these jeans they're not going to be right, but they are very, very cute. So this is them. I know, guys, so mature. I, I don't know. I don't know. I do want to be very clear that I also did order myself a new pair of Vans for the gym. So, you know, you can do both. The boots are incredible. They fit perfectly. They're so comfortable. This is the box. Shoots. Shuts. Shoots. Shoots. I have a great pair of over the knee platform, uh, like thigh high boots, but I don't have one that kind of hits right below the knee to go with like sweater dresses. It's like a manageable heel. It looks high, but uh, shockingly comfortable. Like I could definitely do a night in these and they fit perfect. My mom has really, really, she's gonna, this is so like, I feel like not, not gonna be stoked that I'm saying this, but she's got the wide calf Asian jean and um, finding like this style of boot for her has always been an issue even though she is literally less than 100 pounds and 5'2". She just like has the, the wide calf Asian jean. I got my dad's scrawny little white legs so I have him to thank for these fitting like a glove. Love you mom, so sorry for exposing your wide calves. It's muscle. It's muscle, especially on her. She's like marathon runner, the whole thing. Um, but yes, I do have my dad's chicken legs and that is who I have to thank for these fitting perfectly on my caps. Okay, basic gray top number one. This one is from Urban Outfitters. Um, this neck is so cute. It's got such nice like, not ruching, I guess. There, I mean, there is ruching on the side here, which is always, I feel like, very flattering. Um, but basic top number one in gray, a little shoulder moment and so soft and thin. Again, LA I don't think is done being Satan's assholey yet. It is cooling down, um, but like this is just like the perfect lightweight fabric. I seriously might get this in a few other colors actually too. It's so cute. Okay, next also from Urban. Um, so lightweight and soft and cute and basic, but not just a long sleeve. I just feel like some of the pieces that I've been missing for so long. Um, I also love that this feels like a two piece, but it's just, just a one piece all together. Um, so cute, so cute. Another one that I seriously am considering getting in a second color. Um, just because of how comfortable it is. And I love like the sleep detailing down here as well. Could do with thumb holes, but I also think that everything is better with thumb holes. I did also get three of these. I just feel like there is for sure an opportunity for Moose, Diggy and I at some point to do content. And also too, when I give them baths, um, they get water in their ears because their ears are obviously just like so open. So I was trying to find something that was like really soft and stretchy that would cover their ears when I give them baths. And it's going to be adorable. Oh, also I got, this is from, I'm going to a wedding in a few weeks and I've been having a really hard time finding a dress. Uh, added this to the cart last minute. This little pearly purse. I wanted to return it, but I wasn't able to because it doesn't have any kind of like attachment mechanism, whether that be a zipper or a snap or literally anything. So like without a case, does my phone even fit in here? Barely. So this holds one phone, which actually is not the worst. 
Like that is quite cute. <laughs> it's not what I thought it was gonna be. And so I did intend to return it, but I'm sure it'll get its wear some at some point this sweater does in fact feel like a barefoot dreams blanket and i was a skeptic at first it was um i, I can't remember which like amazon fashion influencer um recommended this and i was like i'll be the judge of that and bitch when i tell you that this shit is so soft it's like i don't even know what 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 fabric this is but it literally feels like if you were to put the Barefoot Dreams blanket fabric into a sweater, into a sweater. So anyways, I will link this. Again, another one that I'm seriously considering getting in other colors. I think the neutrals are the nicest and look the most elevated in my opinion. But again, I am slowly dismantling the closet of what feels like a teenager. So maybe don't take fashion advice from me. Living my best sweater dress life. Okay. We're moving into things that I ordered from 12th Tribe. Um, first being this little off the shoulder um, sweater dress that has a ton of stretch to it, which I think is cute. Here's the length, if you can see, you can see. And I also have this on with the boots. Oh God. Wow, fall fashion. I actually wish it was a little tiny bit cooler here. So I can wear this now. So cute. Oh yeah, also I forgot that there's this really cute little back detail back here. Cute. Another one from 12th Tribe and I still have the boots on so I want you to be able to see how far back can I go. Not far back enough. Okay, boots are on. This is, <laughs> I feel like this is an awful way to show the outfit. It's just this khaki colored oversized um, button up shirt dress, I guess. Um, and so I've got it belted right now, but I actually just like like it I don't have the right bra on for this right now, but I also just like it um, Wearing it loose with the boots and slouched off the shoulder I do think that's also really cute, but it's just like the perfect length also when it's belted um, She's growing up We're 30 now, but also wear whatever the fuck you want and we're back to normal um, I get a ton of ads for Elwood clothing and so I wanted to see if there are sweat sets lived up to the hype because they look so great. And what I will say is that although sweatpants are like great and fine and I like them and they fit and they've got great pockets and they've got a waistband and I like them and it's a perfect matching color, but this like cropped hoodie has such a nice weight and slouch to it that I'm gonna keep this for sure. I think I sized up one of what I would normally wear. So it's just like a little bit comfier. Um, but I do, I just feel like it's, it's in the details, you know what I mean? It's just that like this just feels a little nicer. Um, and you really feel that throughout the quality. So I'm gonna keep it. I don't know if I'm gonna order another one because I do not need another like sweat set of, uh, because, because I don't need another sweat set of any kind, but I do, I do really like this one. I feel like, like, it's cute. It's cute. It's just like a little bit nicer than my usual sweat set. This sweater dress is another Amazon recommendation and I'm gonna size down one, I think, because I've got, like, it's really, really stretchy. So I, I think that I've got space to size down just like one more, because I think it bunches just a little bit too easily. Um, but the neckline is really, really cute. It's like a decently thick fabric, like pretty, like definitely too warm for today um, if I was going for dinner. But what I like about this, and I feel like I'm confronting a fear of like a three quarter length dress. It does have a really nice leg slit though. Let me see how much I can back up. So we've got we've got the leg slit, which I think is really nice. Don't mind my fancy socks, but it, it kind of hits right at like the mid shin level. So I'm getting past the fear of dresses that are that length. I don't know, I don't know where it came from, but I just feel so uncomfortable at kind of that like middle length of like it not being a full length dress, but it not being like a mini dress. I don't know. Working on it, I think the leg slip is the answer for me. Oh, this also came with like a little, a cute little tie for right here as well too, but I think the tie almost makes it look a little bit like a bathrobe, if I'm being honest. But anyways, very cute and a shockingly incredible quality. I am gonna size down one though. Oh my fucking God, are you <laughs> kidding 
<laughs> Digo, I love you so much. You are the sweetest, best thing to ever happen. Oh my god. Look at him. Digo don't give a single fuck. He really, like, I'm not kidding. Digo is the most easygoing dog I have ever met. Wow, this really is the perfect width, though, for, like, all adorableness aside. Like, the actual convenience and efficiency, I think this is going to be so good for keeping his ears dry. And it's adorable. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Moose is going to be pissed. Literally, we're going to put this on Moose and he is going to riot. Oh, Diggo. Oh my god, I'm here and it's the cutest. Okay, so Pickle Pop on the Third Street Promenade and it looks like I'm in Barbie land. Like literally, it looks like I'm in Barbie land. This place is so fucking cute. Um, we just finished playing and I haven't watched any of the time-lapse footage back because I don't know how good it's gonna be. Um, we're still learning the rules. There are so many rules that are specific to pickleball that are not tennis related. So like staying in at the kitchen, for example. So we're still getting the hang of not, for me personally, is over swinging and smacking the shit out of it. And then also the double bounce. Anyways, so there's lots of pickleball rules that we're still getting the hang of, but this game is so fun. It is so much fun. I like it so much more than tennis, and ugh, I don't live on the west side. This was kind of a dry for us. This was kind of dry for us, but it was so worth it, and I cannot wait to come back. Um, I will have a link for their place, but there are three pickleball courts. Um, so cute. So cute, so cute. So cute, so cute, so cute! So cute, so cute. Let me show you my new, oh, I'm a little dizzy from that spin. Let me show you my new paddle, which is also adorable. Just vlogging, <laughs> don't mind me, just vlogging. <laughs> my new paddle, it's so cute. But also look how cute the pickle pot paddles are. Look how cute these are. These are, these are like the standard paddles that you can use when you are here. So cute. So adorable. I think they're also available for purchase as well. Um, but anyways, here's some footage of us playing and it is going to be, I'm sure that we're breaking so many rules. So if you are a pickleball pro, please do not come for us because we are beginners. Okay, enjoy. I'm also a little nervous. There's one angle that I think is just gonna be butt cheeks. So um, apologies in advance if that's the case. Oh my god, look at Moose's face in the middle. I'm done. I'm fucking dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is a wildly unflattering angle, but Diggo looks really good from this angle. From this angle. Diggo looks good from this. Oh my. Oh my god. 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 Oh. Look at them. I can't. I fucking can't. I can't. I can't. I don't know at what point in the journey of having two bull terriers of copy paste uh, i'll ever be i i'm glitching i'm literally glitching that was the cutest thing ever just seeing them interact at all is my favorite thing in the entire world wow that was a very very good yawn um anyways i am going to end the vlog here um hope you guys enjoyed it uh go watch episode one of amateur artist I'm so excited! Slash nervous. Excited, but nervous, for sure. Um, wow. Okay, Diggo, that was a little little forceful with the booty in the face. Hi, Bubber. Maybe next vlog we can try your frog headband on, and it'll be adorable. Okay, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys!